Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you a brief editing tutorial to produce a UTTV news package. So first, you're going to want to find your Premiere Pro icon. And we encourage you, if you're working on the MacBooks in the computer lab at UT, to use a flash drive so you have one space where all of your work is and it won't get lost. But I'm here on my laptop, so I can just work off of my desktop. So once we see this screen, you're going to want to hit new project. And then you always have to name it. So I'm going to name this editing practice. Okay. And then browse to see where you want to find it. And if you are working on your flash drive, you want to select the flash drive, but I'll just throw it right here on my desktop. These are all good. Click okay. Okay, and once we see the screen, you're ready to edit, but we need footage. So you should already have the footage in the place where it is either on your um, flash drive or on the desktop. I have mine right here in this editing practice folder. So I'm just going to drag the whole footage folder I have into this import box. Okay, click out of that. Once you open the folder, so it's nice and organized, you're going to see all of the clips I have. So I'm going to, to create the sequence over here, I'm going to drag the first clip over. Just click and drag to create the sequence. It doesn't matter which clip because you, which clip, because you can just delete it if it's not the one you want, but you still have that sequence there. Okay, so on to the basics of editing. So when you select your stand-up, I don't have a stand up here, but say this will be my first shot. We're going to go where we want it to start. I want it to start right there, and we can either click these buttons in or out. So you can select these to mark in and mark out. And then once you have the clip selected that you want to drag over, you can click it and drag it, or you can use this insert button. So there's a couple different ways you can do it, all producing the same thing. Okay. So you're just gonna wanna do that with all of your clips. Have a piece of interview here. If I want him to get that part. And also on your, um, on your keys, you can select the letter I and the letter O to mark in and out if you don't wanna use the in and out up here. So I'm going to drag this one in as well. And then you're just going to go ahead and do this with all of the clips you have. Selecting what you want. Okay. And then for lower thirds, we're going to save this and we're going to go into the syllabus on Blackboard for UTTV right here and we're going to scroll all the way down to the lower third keynote graphic we're going to click on that it's going to download okay okay so this is where you can make your edits so if i was the reporter here i would type morgan culp uttv news reporter and that would be me standing the center, and this will go over me. And then for my interview, we have Joe Smith, and then whatever his occupation is or what makes him relevant to the story. So the clips I have are of him talking about his well drilling company. So I'm gonna call him Suncoast Drillers and associate with him with the company. And you're just going to line them up slightly off-center so they look nice and appealing to the eye. So once you have those ready, we're going to File, File, Export to Images. And we're going to change this and make it a PNG. So we just see the lower third and not the black. So we're going to export that. I'm going to save it to my desktop again.
Okay, let's see if it's there. Click out of this. Keynote graphic right here. Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open Premiere back up. Select the keynotes and drag them into this left-hand um, footage folder. Okay, so once we have them, we just drag and drop. Fortunately, no forward. And there it is. So we want these graphics to come up a little bit after we see the person that's talking. So we're gonna see the person that's talking for I guess we've been a couple seconds and then we're gonna drop that lower third there. And we want to select the ends of the lower third so they'll fade in and fade out. So what we do is we control click or right click on a mouse, default transitions. If we zoom in here, we'll see it fades and then do the same thing to the other side, apply default transitions, and we see that pop up. So when we play it, it fades in, been and it fades off. People, huh? So we're gonna do that with all of the lower thirds you have. And we also do that to the very beginning and very end of your sequence. So pretend this is the match on action shot over here with the reporter. We're gonna select, right click, apply default transitions, and it'll fade from black. And that's the same thing we do at the end. Right click, apply default transitions, and it'll fade out to black right there. Perfect. Okay, so if this package was complete now, I'll show you how to export. So what we normally do is we hit Command M, on the screen or I'll cancel that and show you the other way. So we're gonna go file, file, export, media. So that's where the command M for media comes from. And the format is always H.264. You never change that, it's always H.264. The preset is we're gonna go all the way down to YouTube 1080p full HD. So that's what we have. We're gonna change our output name to whatever the name of your package is. This is just editing, tutorial, and I'm gonna save that to my desktop, but you would save that to your flash drive or your desktop, depending on what you're editing on. So we're gonna save that. And then you just wanna make sure your sequence is correct, the correct um, time, number of seconds that it is, and all of these look correct. You always wanna make sure right here where it says export video and export audio, you always wanna make sure they're both clicked so you get both. This is all correct. And then you just hit export. And we wait. Okay, so now that this has taken a couple minutes to export, we can save our Premiere file and find your package right on your desktop. And there you have it. That's how you edit a UTTV news package. Thanks for listening.